and in a feat of electric vehicle endurance, Neo ET7 sedan equipped with the latest 150 kilowatt hour semi solid battery pack covered in impressive 1,044 kilometers on a single charge. The drive was conducted by none other than Neo CEO himself, who was keen to prove that the age of range anxiety is coming to an end. Uh, the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack is the centerpiece of this accomplishment and we now have proof it makes a significant difference in the real world. Lee emphasized the safety, performance and flexibility of the battery, highlighting that all Mio models can be upgraded to this new battery through the Neo battery swap system. And better yet, the journey started at a battery swap station in Shanghai at a chilly 2 degrees C. Lee navigated various challenges, including a recent cold wave across China. The German covered 1,044 kilometers in 14 hours and one minute, demonstrating ET7's endurance under less than ideal conditions. Uh, NEO's advanced dry resistance system, NOT Plus, played a significant role during the journey, not only making the journey easier, but also help reduce power consumption. Uh, the NOT Plus system was engaged for 92% of the trip. Um, uh, the ET7 maintained an average temperature of 20 degrees Celsius inside the cabin, uh, so it's not like comfort was compromised to achieve this impressive range. The market first semi solid state 150 kilowatt hour battery pack boasts the highest energy density of 360 watt hours per kilogram and is currently the largest capacity mass produced battery in the Chinese passenger car segment, weighing 575 kilograms. It is only 20 kilograms heavier than the 100 kilowatt hour pack it replaces. Uh, while Neo celebrates this milestone, uh, challenges loom, especially in the cost department. Uh, Co-founder and President Chen Liang revealed earlier this year that the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack comes with a hefty price tag, almost equivalent to that of the entire ET5 sedan. It's nearly 42,000. 900 euros. However, NEO's unique battery swap mode offers a potential solution. Owners can experience the benefits of the large battery pack needing to pay the full cost. If NEO follows them a similar strategy to its 100 kilowatt hour packs, offering them as a rental option, it could present an economically viable option for users. Um, and, you know, there is no doubt that this 14-hour long stint is a very significant event, both for the company and the EV industry in general. While the uh, costs may be prohibitive at this point, they are bound to reduce over time as the technology matures, and it will be finally be possible to match the range of a tanking of gas without any hypermiling. Mio isn't the first to achieve this. Zeker 001 beat it to the post. But the more manufacturers achieve this target, all faster and easier, the EV transition will become. And one that all of us expect or need uh, the cross-country range from our EVs, uh, the notion of having a vehicle capable of such range uh, puts the range anxiety to a well-deserved uh, rest for many people, it would mean long trips without the need for uh, public chargers. And for some, it would mean charging their EV once every few times. And that's a huge achievement. And we have Neo and Zeker to thank for that. And uh, you can watch the entire 14-hour video following the source link below. It's quite interesting, actually, to see how seemingly easy it was to drive the ET7 for such a long time. Record-breaking is becoming a normal, everyday event. Persistent